everybody, that's a five minute horn. We are starting our fog race in five minutes. Welcome Humble Yacht Club's fog race. Every week we do a race. It's just for fun. It's good practice. Let's everybody get used to their crews and get their boat sorted out, ready to go. We've got some big races coming up this month and everybody's excited, ready to go offshore. Should be good, should be good. Today I think we're just gonna go to three. The wind is relatively light and it is, as you can see, I'm in shorts. Well, I'm not shorts, I'm in a t-shirt. I'm in a t-shirt and it is quite pleasant. Although, that being said, there is kind of a nasty fog line out there past the Maticate and that might get a little chilly. Nancy's like, don't forget your jacket. Don't worry, I've got it ready to go. All right, so I just uh, crossed the start line. I'm four minutes early. I've got to circle back around and get ready to go. See how it runs. Here we go, we got 30 seconds to the start. Everybody's going. You're overtaking me. You're overtaking me. You're still overtaking me. Not if you're overtaking me. start because you know we're Ed's coming up behind me and we're both on starboard tack and he is overtaking me so he's sailing significantly faster than I am because he has a wicked fast boat but I that means I have the right-of-way and in sailing the right-of-way isn't just like a car where you can just do whatever you want. The riding wave means you have to stay your course. You have to maintain your course and in theory, your speed. So he's overtaking me. I can't change course. Now he called saying he had an overlap and he was bringing me up and I needed to come up to make room for him. Which, and he, his, his argument is that it's before the start. So overtaking doesn't matter. I don't know if that's necessarily true. And I don't know, because like there's a three boat or a three boat length rule around a turning point. And I don't think he didn't have an overlap with me within three boat lengths. He overlapped me maybe at the last one boat length or boat, boat and a half length. But that three and a half, the three boat length circle is really for around going around marks. And I, I honestly don't know about the start line. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna have to look it up in the rules. The US sailing racing rules are very cryptic and there's constant debate among every organization and race committees and all those sort of uh, friendly com competitive groups like us where we'll have some beers and we'll discuss it over and we'll probably put some, some toy boats on the table and, and talk about how it happened and try to figure out what rules apply or not. But it's something that happens with Ed a lot because his boat is so much faster than everybody else's boat that he tends to blast up from behind and then try to yell at people to have them get out of his way. And I don't think that's necessarily correct. I think the course that the boats that he's overtaking have right away and he has to go around them. So we're we're gonna we're gonna look at the rules and try to figure out who was right. Luckily, you know, we did technically bump boats. We just kind of he just kind of gave me a little shimmy shim along the side. He didn't even leave a mark. But you know, in theory, you're racing an apartment, and you shouldn't be crashing apartments against other apartments. Um, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to eat. Write, write in the comments and, and let me know what you think about who has the right of way. I, both on starboard tack, approaching the start line in under five minutes, and the faster boat comes from behind and overtakes slower boat and calls for room. And who has the rights? Let me know.
to make the first tack around 19. Oh, I think I'm gonna make it. There be the Matikit. Tourist boat cruising around Humboldt Bay. Oldest bar on the West Coast. Smallest bar, maybe the oldest, smallest bar on the West Coast. Wendy's the captain, she's a yacht club member. And on the board, excellent captain, going for the evening cruise. There's Big Doby. Flying the Catalina 38, Obsession. Well, I decided that I'd put up Big Red. I'm going basically dead downwind and I figured I didn't really need the pull and so I'd make it easy and just, just launch her. And man, we were cooking downwind just with the big sail. I don't think we're gonna catch up to anybody, but they're all right up there. They're not that far away. I mean, I didn't go to the bottom mark, but whatever. It's just a for fun race. <laughs> Here we are, a nice downwind run. Kinda, kinda am last, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all good. I have a great view of the fleet all in front of me and I'm catching up because I cut the corner. <laughs> Cheater, what up? Uh, it's a fabulous day though, man. It is so incredible. The sunshine is still holding off. That, that thick line of fog that's behind me is holding off. So it is still warm and still sunny. Can't beat it. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe, check out the comments and see what you think. Give me, give me what you feel. Look at the rules and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Thanks, see you next time.